Well, that, that's generally the true of male partners is they will they'll let you know very early what they're into. Right. And and once they're once they're showing you what they're into, that's it. But that's I just find it fascinating that these are they things don't... that men love, and I that's not your thing. Yeah. I get it, but it I'm always like, why? Like, mm. why do they? Well, you saw that kid I was talking to on the Stiff Socks podcast yeah. where he was talking about his feet, foot fetish. Okay. Remember? Yeah. And he was a good example of that. He, he couldn't understand it either. It was just like, just, I don't know. And then, he, of course, er, men, gentlemen, men have Listen. a period from about age 12 to 14. We where, do? No, not a, a period, but I, not a <laughs> menstrual period, but a, a, window of, a window of development from about 12 to 14 where the things they see can often become sort of emblazoned in their memory yeah. and then in their sexual preferences. Like images you saw, moments, right? And, and he's nodding, right? In, in my day, it was Playboy. Somebody would come across a certain Playboy and go, oh, that's it. And that would just sort of right. boom. It would go in and that would stay the preference. Right, right. Um, women don't really have that so much. I'm, I think they might now that there's porn out there. It might start happening for women too, no? Maybe. Because but, we're, but, we were a little more protected from it you know, yeah, in but, our, in but our you're, era. You're missing my point a little bit. It can be as simple as seeing feet in the sand at the beach, which right. is what that kid saw. Oh, really? Now, now it was a te- what he couldn't appreciate is there were people in bikinis. It was an evocative uh-huh. situation. But what struck him was these feet that looked so good walking through the sand. And that got sexualized, you know, as his puberty kicked in. And I and I've never spoken to a woman that really has that kind of. And fetishes don't seem the, the kind of visual fetishes don't happen as much with women, at all. No, I think like, but I still don't get why, like somebody had to a horse had to poop on you to want to like me have a fetish like that. Like what? Oh, <laughs> when, when they did, go crazy like when that. When did the when did the switch turn on to have like? like be peed on or whatever <laughs> it's just so that's weird. i that uh we'll have to talk to some people to go through that stuff yeah maybe i don't see that that's that's a little different that, yeah. that that's a you know it's same thing of I, i'm not talking that's about more degradation yeah like and in, that's a procedure more than a visual fetish right Right. and and the procedural stuff like s and m and things like that that's different that yeah is different. yeah okay um but but the the visual stuff is what i'm talking no, I get about it. Visual so what's your what's your visual you're it no, no. eating your shit eating your <laughs> shit and hey. no that that's it not yet you know, we can do that later if you want so what <laughs> No, but Was what that just is... to impress these guys, or, or is that something you want to do? <laughs> what is your, like, if you had anything, like, what is it? Like, he explained, the girl in the car. Tra- oh, co- it was, I, I mem- remember uh, I told you th- that uh, one of my friend's brothers had the posters all over the wall. Right. I think it was those images. Right. I, can, I can't remember a specific one, per se. Fair Fawcett, probably. No, no. She was um, everywhere. No, these were Playboy centerfolds. Oh, the Playboys, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, so like, so uh, so like that that era, pretty, pretty pinup girls, but yeah. like ha, like natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, and um, but then you know, I think you know, we kind of grew up on the beach, right? right? And, and I think that was almost too much, like overwhelming for a young male. Really? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's that it's all just like like that. You know, it's all the same <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Eh. Too much, too much. I got a question. Move to yeah. Morocco. I got a quick question. Mm. So on uh, on WMMA and on YMH, we were talking about uh, how would you be, or we were asking the question, would you be comfortable knowing that you masturbate to what your dad masturbated to? Sure. <laughs> right? That was a that was a little talking point. It's like, would you think that was cool? Would that bug you? Could you do it anymore to that thing? <laughs> My question is, <laughs> is there any study that's been done to know if fetishes and sexual preferences and all that is at all like genetic they have done they have tried to do that stuff and my understanding is there's some evidence is with everything with human behavior right, right. about 56 percent is genetics it's just right. everything. Wow. Uh, and so there is some stuff uh, i remember i found one of my dad's porn magazine when i was like about oh, 10 or 11 uh-huh. and it was just an odd like an odd was it magazine. like cartoon or something no no it was like but it was like really the they had these just like odd it's <laughs> like the best i can describe it nothing pretty about it nothing yeah it pretty. wasn't easy to get stuff yeah. in those days yeah. either so i thought your so i definitely wasn't it. into whatever if that was his thing it was not my thing yeah that's uh, weird but i agree with you it would make it very difficult what to do function you mean, odd like what was it like just 
not attractive people having sex in various ways and things. That just, <laughs> it just seemed dark and it just seemed, it seemed odd. Like amateur <laughs> shit. What's that? You mean like amateur shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but sort of of that. Imagine of that time, like 1968 or 71 or something. You, it, it really was a very alternative like world if people were doing or being pictured in pornography. There was nothing artistic about it. When my grandma died, we went in her basement and she had piles of Playboy old 50s Oh my and God, 60s. did you sell them? I couldn't get them. Remember everybody, I my lesbian um, cousin took one. Uh, I said, take it. And it was not, it's not, those were your, the, your grandfather. Yeah, your yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, but I was like, I wish I had Oh my God! For, are... I would have had to pay for them because in my family you don't take stuff from yeah. your grandma. You you have to sell it. But those are probably worth something oh compared God. to everything else. But I remember looking at them. There was like a Marilyn Monroe one, and there was a oh, the you know they had she was all the very first one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, but I always thought that Playboy was a step above everything else. So it was it was actually art in a in a good way. Yeah. You know, it wasn't just. You know, porn. it was still you know you, you now that we're learning more about what was going on, there was very exploitative of women. And, yeah, um, but you know they're beautiful women and they have great bodies and I, you had to write to get in that magazine. Mm. You know, you had to be one of the top. And a lot of people like Jenny McCarthy is now very famous, and mm. she she started out doing nudes in Playboy. So, I mean, I that's probably healthier than you know the porn that you see on t on the internet all the time. For young males. Uh, that, that, that's what worries me. Because you, you don't know what the impact of... And by the way, who knows the range of what these kids get exposed no, to. No, I've seen know? a lot of stuff on there. I'm like, wow. Really? You've seen a lot of stuff? Yeah. I, what, like you, what kind of stuff? It pops up. You see it. What? When you at it. Really? Oh, just shit. Up, really. <laughs> Jesus. I've never watched Damn, it. bitch. <laughs> Damn, bitch. Damn, <laughs> bitch. 